after 20 Indian soldiers were martyred during a violent attack between India and Chinese armies. Protests and boycotts are the talk of the day as Indians grapple with the deaths of these brave hearts. This Galwan Valley standoff uh, being the worst clash in decades has surged anger in people in India and abroad. On June 25th, several Indian Americans in their own personal capacity demonstrated in front of the Chinese Consulate General in Chicago. Following the CDC guidelines, large gatherings were avoided. The people carried various placards denouncing China for its aggression against India and other neighboring countries. Vandana Jingan from TV Asia witnessed this as she happened to be in that area at that time. Let's see the highlights. Several Indian Americans demonstrated in front of the Chinese Consulate General in Chicago. But the city of Chicago would not issue permit for any large demonstrations or allow less than 15 people to demonstrate in their individual capacity. According to official Indian assessments, 20 Indian soldiers were killed in the border clash. China has not officially indicated how many casualties it suffered. But India has assessed China also suffered casualties. Going on right here in front of the Chinese consulate in the downtown Chicago. Well, we have come in our individual capacity to protest against the Chinese atrocities, both on the economic front as well as on the military front. On economic front, <coughs> they are stealing a lot of American jobs by overly subsidizing and underpricing. On the military front, China is has raised a big army, people's so-called people's aggression army. They are threatening different countries. Recently, they are doing incursions on the border with India, and 20 Indian soldiers died because the Indian soldiers gave them a hell also. And now trying to threaten and create war. They are threatening <coughs> Malaysia, they are threatening Singapore, they are threatening Vietnam, they are threatening Philippines, they are threatening Indonesia, they are threatening Taiwan, they are threatening Japan. All over they want to say that everything belongs to them and they are trying to crack their military muscle. I mean this may lead to a war and the Chinese better behave like civilized citizens of the world. It's not enough just for them to export all kinds of bad viruses. The COVID virus came from them. You know what is interesting? <laughs> all the bad viruses now come from China. I don't know whether they are unleashing the war from the labs in Wuhan. The chicken flu virus came from China. In 2003, the MERS virus came from China. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome virus came from China. The swine flu virus came from China. This COVID virus came from China. How come there are 195 countries or more and everything bad thing comes from China? I don't know if they are quietly releasing those viruses from their virological lab in Wuhan. So they are doing so much of damage. How many millions of people all over the world have suffered because of this COVID virus? How many people have died? And how much of people have lost their job because of the economy? So I think the Chinese need to become part of the civilized world stop threatening people and stop trying to use their own people as slaves and try to export the products to the rest of the world at lower prices.